All right, here's an update on the um, Spad 8 that I'm painting to hopefully look like a Belgian plane. <clears throat> and I'm doing a bit of freehand here with the camera due to the fact that I'm going to wander around a little bit. And speaking of freehand, remember I also drink um, four liters on average of coffee a day, so give me a break with the freehand here. Um, but hopefully you can hear. I'll try to get there. Better lighting there. But uh, that's not bad. I mean, it's a bit crooked. I actually, it's more crooked on this side. But uh, that's not too bad. It's Tuscan Red, um, Summer Squash, and, and, lamp, and Lamp Black. Oh gosh, is it ever a nice looking color. And then um, that is Khaki. I was trying some other stuff for a while. I did. Uh, I tried Burlap. I didn't like that look. And then I uh, it was just a bit too pink. Uh, then I tried the pebble, and that still had a bit too pink. I tried mixing it with a bit of khaki, and now I just went straight up khaki. And uh, it's so far. But I normally don't paint this way. Normally I would paint just one section, finish it off completely, go to the next. But I wanted to get the color combos, and that's asphaltium, which I'm also doing here. I'll show you the. the uh, well, maybe I should just do it this way. See, I don't know if you can notice that, but uh, hold on. Do you see what I mean? It's got a little bit of a. See what I mean? A little bit of a pink to it. It just was driving me mental. But I wanted to show you that soft, uh, the lamp black. My gosh, is it ever nice. That is just a, oof. Versus the soft black. Look at the difference, eh? I don't know if you can notice that, sorry. But look at that. That is just spectacular. Anyways. You know what I was thinking, even though I am going to go slower and I'm going to keep trucking along here and I'm, I'm starting to realize because I want to enjoy uh, the constructing the constructing of the model uh, more than I am right now and it's because I'm doing a ton of mistakes and it, I think it's partially because, well, you know, I, I'm new, um, not taking enough time, I can even hear hissy in the back of, in my back of my mind there going, you know, uh, fit the parts first and stuff like that and, and so on and so forth and it's just like yep and I'm but I want to get to that point I want to enjoy it it was interesting to hear other people talking about oh, I hate constructing uh, I hate painting models and I just want to get our figure miniatures I'm like oh my gosh not that way at all um, but then I'm like wait a minute you don't like at this moment uh, constructing the models you like painting them but you certainly don't like constructing them so there you go yeah here's the I can't remember where I got this, like a makeup thing or something, or for a lip balm, but uh, I was mixing some paint in there, but uh, yeah, I found it on the, whatever, anyways, I want to show you, so I think I'm going to go to 148 scale, um, and I'll try that, and I'm going to go slow, trust me, I'm going to go slow. Um, so I'd really have wanted to do this one, this one I would like to do, but it's so old, and I'm a, a bit scared of uh, being, potentially not being able to find this one anymore. And that, I think you should see the decals on it there. Forget it. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to use them. But um, so I was going to try to, and this one's an old one anyways as well. But um, I was wondering if the 1 to 48 scale may help me out that way. As in, there won't be as many fiddly bits. If that makes any sense. So maybe that's, I'll try it. I'll try it. See what happens. So that's that, I think. Yeah. I'm happy. We'll see if, uh, I, like I said, I wanted to see if the color combos would work. But uh, yeah, so far, so good. Okay, hope you're having a great time. See ya.